left and far right of each party, a Republican supporter of the president's trade policy, Congressman Patrick McHenry, is the House uh, Chief Deputy Whip. Um, we still don't know Pelosi, do we? We still, uh, or, or, or Hillary Clinton. It's very strange the way that, uh, that, that, that this has got people in different corners. Well, she was Secretary of State. She started the initial rounds of discussion. She was very deeply involved when she's in the administration, and it's like she doesn't know what, what's happening on this, which is shocking to me. This is the president's top legislative priority at the moment. Right. And yet Hillary Clinton, as uh, the presumptive Democrat nominee, won't get off uh, the, the well, fence here. I don't think you're not speaking totally honestly. It's not shocking to you that she's not taking a stand. You're ah, just, that's actually pretty fair. Just, yeah, that's right. pretty you're fair. Just saying Let's just shocking. say I'm somewhat skeptical uh, yeah, of okay. her. So, uh, okay, there I you mean, go. We've seen, it's been uh, 20 years that we've been in the public eye. You're, you're obviously not. Okay. Uh, at, at this point, when we hear even from the right that nobody knows what's in this and that uh, there's climate change stuff in there, there's Obama's doing all this crazy stuff in here. Have you been sold a bill? Do you know what's in it? Have you read it? Does anybody so, know? So we're talking about trade promotion authority. That is the mechanism by which Congress, both the House and the Senate, has a vote on this trade agreement. Now, that means that we have to construct how we deal with trade agreements within this legislation. It is our internal process in Congress, and it also uh, dictates the president must make public this agreement okay. for 60 days before we have a vote uh, on any trade agreement in Congress. So then that's a red herring. That right, the people aren't red know, herring. People don't know what's going to be in. We have to pass this piece of legislation so Congress actually has oversight. If we pass this legislation, members of Congress can go to every negotiating round for every trade agreement going forward. We're currently not credentialed for that. Uh, it mandates this public disclosure piece. It also gives us the opportunity on an ongoing basis for input with the administration. If they don't comply with it, fat chance they're going to get any agreement passed. So th we need to pass trade promotion authority so we can restrict with this president to uh, his actions. It, it, you, as a person that in the past, if someone had said, you're, you're going to be going door to door selling one of the president's programs. Yeah. You would have said what? You, <laughs> you, you, you would have said... That's what has people wondering, and it has me wondering. Um, the president makes a lot of sense on this. I've seen him make so little sense on so many other things. Uh, what was it about this? The, this the, I mean, don't you look at it and say there must be something that I shouldn't like here? Right, but here, here's the problem. It, it, Republicans, it, just look at policy. Let's separate the president out from this discussion. Okay. If you look at policy of bringing down taxes, where are Republicans? We know where Republicans are. Right. They're in favor of that. So when we're talking about tariffs, they're taxes. And if we're saying we're, we have the ability to negotiate with other countries around the globe for them to bring their taxes down. So why does the far services, right not see it that way then? Well, because this, it's all these red herrings that come out that are accusations. And, and if you look at what the labor unions and what Sierra Club have, have teamed up to do with their coalition, they've made some very inventive uh, assertions. And what they're saying in my district, which is very anti-labor, you need to restrict the president's authority. You need to not give the president this authority. So blah, blah, you, blah, need? Blah. you need more Democrats to come around, or you need more uh, well, to, look, to hold the line with Republicans? If you look at CAFTA, we had 15 Democrats. If you look at uh, the last time we had trade promotion authority, we had 25 Democrats. If the president's in the 20s, uh, I think if the president hits 30, so he uh, can Dems, do that, you know? I think I think it's possible. Let's hope so. Um, right. But what this has to be led by is Republicans, and Republicans need to understand the opportunity to restrict this president is for us to pass trade promotion authority. One way maybe you can sell it then anyway. Um, thank you, Chief Deputy uh, Whip McHenry. Good thank to see you. you. Thanks. Okay, still